We're going a little bit out of order tonight because I asked if I could present the second Sprague Award winner tonight because it's somebody very near and dear to the Northern Short Course's heart. The second, reci second recipient is Michael Williamson. He's a staff photographer at the Washington Post. And his professional words, we would sit here all night if I were to list them, but they do include two Pulitzer Prizes, numerous Photographer of the Year recognitions from MPPA, MPOYI, WHMPPA, you name it. Michael has a rare gift in the way he sees the world, and he's been generous in sharing his vision with all of us. I think his greatest accomplishment, though, and I think he would uh, agree to this, above and beyond all of the awards that he's received, are his three daughters. And I wish that all of the girls who are here tonight, Valerie and Sophia have come to so many Northern Shore courses with him that we feel like he was, they were a part of our lives as well. And now with the new addition of Rosemary, and she's being so good over there. To, oh, is she out now? She, they went for a little walk with Allison. Um, but Michael has really been such an inspiration to so many of us coming to workshops, mentoring photographers from all over the country. And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the fact that he presented one of the most unique presentations in the history of the Northern Short Course. Quite a few years ago in New Brunswick, New Jersey, there was a massive storm and the transform power transformers blew all over town and we had no power. And Michael was about to be the last speaker of the day and he said, I don't need power. I can talk to anybody. And he did an hour and 45 minute presentation lit only by a video battery light. And I have never heard such laughter coming out of a room and people kept saying, we need to stop him. We're like, no, you need to keep going. We're still trying to bring the bar downstairs. And he kept everybody entertained. And still to this day, we have people coming up saying that it was one of the best presentations that they've ever seen in their lives. And so there's really not much I can say about Michael that we haven't heard already. And I'm gonna let him come up and speak for himself. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, when I got the call, I didn't believe it because I've seen all the people who get this in the past. So one thing I did do with Michelle is I said, I wanted to see like the official envelope that actually announced that I really did win. So since I'm a journalist, I'm very cynical. I, I do want to just make triple sure. I promise it's right. Frederick Douglass. We tried. Is Frederick, uh, is Frederick Douglass in the house tonight? Um, can I just stand in for him? OK. Well, yeah, but the name's wrong. Oh, do I do this? We, we still do grip and grins? We still do this? Well, you and I do this. <laughs> He's like, can you guys move? You got it. Oh, man, you got it in two frames. Thank you very much. Sorry Frederick couldn't be here, but I hear he's doing great things. So keep your eye on that guy. Okay, I, I, I jest a little bit, but I would like to say that um, you don't do this alone. I mean, remember the issue in the campaign a few years ago? You do it alone. Nobody does anything alone. I've, I've, I've actually hired like an eight-year-old kid to run down in the stands at a game to get an ID, right? All I had to do was buy him an ice cream cone. I, no, no, how did you get the ID? Oh, I, I managed. We've never done anything alone. We've never started before. So I, I do want to do some basic thank yous, obviously, to Michelle, who's been a friend for many years, Mark Dolan, my people at the Washington Post, my boss, uh, Marianne Golan, who's had my back, and believe me, she has scars to prove it. Um, but I will say I'm a big Facebooker. And the Facebook friends did that thing, you know, it's kind of like when you can't remember anybody's name, congratulations on the really cool award, and then they private message you, what is that thing? Who's this guy, <laughs> what did he do? And I'm like, well, it's an award for like, uh, outliving your competitors. And, um, <laughs> but I think when I tried to explain it to lay people, I said, you know, we're in an industry that really is just about sharing and passing stuff along. and I shared a lot of stuff and passed a lot of stuff along. But I always remind them when I try to explain it is, we're passing on stuff that we don't really own and never did own. I mean, when I think of everybody who's let me into their home, shared their life, the kid who got the ID, people who've given me a ride, risked their lives in war zones, they've really, you know, when you get a great picture, it's because somebody else let you in their house and somebody shared with you and yet you get an award for this thing you did when all you really did was take the baton that the world walks around with, they give it to you and you give it back. So 
I just had to explain to my friends, it's just for a, sharing a lot of stuff that's borrowed and passing it on. Since the lovely Mr. Frederick Douglass did win, I think it's appropriate that I do read a Frederick Douglass quote. I mean, I'm old enough to have survived, you know, black and white film in the back of the van, color separations that took 45 minutes. I even learned something really new with this technology. Do you know this eye camera? It's a phone also. <laughs> so I'm up on this stuff. I'm not some old guy, you know, just shooting. I do have flash powder burns from the early days, but from the <clears throat> different, how shall I say, eras that I've survived. You know, black and white to color to chromes to digital to I don't know what in five years it'll be a little thing in our forehead and you blink when you shoot a picture. I don't know. But you know what it'll still be? It'll still be storytelling. It'll just be a different delivery system. So if I'm going to talk about delivery system, let's talk about what's not changed. What we do is a mission, and I believe in the mission. We happen to live in a time when the ruler of our great nation thinks we're low-life scum. So we don't just have a mission and a difficult job, heavy equipment and deadlines. We have a pretty strong enemy. So going back to our lovely award winner, Mr. Frederick Douglass, here's what he had to say on this matter 147 years ago. Liberty is meaningless where the right to one's thoughts and opinions has ceased to exist. That of all rights is the dread of tyrants. It is the right to which they first strike down. They know its power. Thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all those founded in injustice and wrong are sure to tremble if men are allowed to reason. Equally clear is the right to hear. To suppress free speech is a double wrong. It violates the rights of the hearer as well as those of the speaker. So just keep shooting, singing, storytelling, dreaming, and pass that baton. And I thank you so much. Michael, we gotta come back. <laughs> See, Michael's the king of the selfies, so having somebody else in there. Michael, come back, we need to do a photo, apparently. No, with your award. Bring your award. <laughs>